I'm back at y'all again, man, with another video with Coleman. And I want to talk about semen retention, cut them off. And the reason why you should cut people off, especially if they trying to hinder you from being on semen retention. Like, for instance, like, if your friends, well, so-called friends, if you tell them about semen retention as a man, you try to tell your boys about semen retention, and then they try to like, try to like down it or try to get you to relapse, bruh, cut them off. I'm serious, like immediately. Because a real friend, they not gonna try to get you to relapse. They're not gonna down semen retention. You know? And they gonna accept you. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna be picking on you or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? If you explain it to them right and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You got to cut those type of people off. Those type of associates. I won't even call them friends. You got to cut them off immediately. Because that's going to hinder you from retaining and your goals. <clears throat> excuse me. And your focus and everything else. You know what I'm saying? You got to cut them off. You can't, don't, don't try to hold on to something that's not helping you, you know what I'm saying, as a person, as a man. And as far as cutting people off too, as far as relationships, this is the number one. Like, if you want semen retention, it's best to be single. Like, you know, just get out of that relationship if she don't really understand what you're trying to do for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to take for you to really get the benefits. It's going to take, like, for you to really feel it, feel it, feel it. It's going to take at least, like, two, well, I'm going to say one or two months. You know what I'm saying? For you to really, like, at least get that money in. You know what I'm saying? For you, for you to really feel it. For you to, like, really feel those benefits. And if she can't understand that, bro, just cut, cut off. It's better for you to be single on semen retention. You know, I'm telling you guys this right now. Because if you're in a relationship on semen retention, most of the time, that's pressure. That's temptation. That's, uh, you got somebody that's basically want to have intercourse with you. You know what I'm saying? So, that is, it's not going, it's not going to work like that. Be single while you on semen retention. You know what I'm saying? Cut them off. And as far as like family too, like if you trying to help your family members out with semen retention and they don't want to hear, hey, you might have to cut them off too. Or if they don't understand what you're doing or they trying to hinder your semen retention, like your cousins trying to get you to smash a girl or watch this porn Side or whatever, man, cut them off. <clears throat> You're not gonna be doing that, man. You know, you can't be doing that. You gotta make sure yourself is disciplined enough to cut them off, even if you've been knowing them for a long time. Hey, your mind has changed. You trying to upgrade. You trying to get up the hierarchy. You trying to climb the pyramid. You know, they trying to still be on this low vibrational nonsense, that low spiritual nonsense, that low self-esteem, that low self-confidence nonsense. They still want to be on that. You got to cut them off, man. I know y'all dudes got a lot of homeboys, you know, you gonna want to chill out. You gonna want to chill with them. You gonna, you know, y'all gonna kick it, and they gonna try to show you girls on their phones and all that. I know how it is. You know what I'm saying, bro? Do not fall for the temptation, bro. It's better to be by yourself on senior retention. I'm telling you, because you gonna have to cut a lot of people off. You have to cut a lot of people off. Unless they are on semen retention like you. Unless you can persuade them to get on semen retention like you. 
Then, hey, you got another brother. Welcome to the brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? Then that's something different. But if they trying to persuade you, you know, keep tagging you and posting different girls, you know what I'm saying? Trying to persuade you, holla at that one, or I bet you can't hit her before I hit her, or I bet you can't hit that one, or hit that one. Bruh, cut them off. They hindering you, like, big time, bruh. Like, I'm just so serious, bruh. Like, cut them off. You know? It's going to be hard for some of y'all guys to cut some of y'all friends off because y'all been knowing them a long time. But, hey, you got to let them know. You want a different degree than he is. Spiritually and mentally and physically. You're trying to up your vibrations. You're trying to find yourself so you can find your purpose in life. A lot of these guys not on see what they don't care nothing about that. They just going around, running around in the streets, worrying about who they, who they can hit. You know, that's all they care about, who they can hit. But that that type of mentality, uh, how many you hit? But that's that's toxic. That's a toxic toxic mentality. It's just most men they don't notice that. They don't notice it. I don't just lower you, your vibrations, lower your energy, just make you feel lazy, you know? It make you feel sluggish, like you don't want to do nothing when you come home from work. But when you want steam retention, you can come home from work, get on your purpose. You know what I'm saying? Always have something to keep your mind going when you want steam retention. Steam retention is going to lead you to that. You got to cut these people off, man. You can't be scared to cut nobody off when you want seamer attention. You know, that's because somebody else is not loving themselves. Don't let that persuade you not to love yourself. And do the same thing that they doing and go back to that old lifestyle. Don't go back to that lifestyle, man. You got to stay focused. Cause I know a lot of y'all friends is is hindering y'all from doing seamer attention. Seamer attention is, is for you. It's for you only. That's what's going better. You can't do seamer attention for your friend. Nah, you gotta do it for you. You gotta want to better your life. Whoever want to follow, then so be it. They follow. They follow you. They follow in the same tracks. You know? You got to be the leader, man. You got to be the wise one of the pack. You got to change the game. You got to help guys out. Change their mentality so they can get on this journey. If they're not trying to get on senior attention like you and they're still doing that old lifestyle, what's the point of being around them? That's not helping you, man. It is not helping you. And I know it's hard for a lot of you guys to just get this in your mind. You got to allow this semen retention to be stored in your neurological system. When you get it stored in your neurological system, you can cut people off quick. If they ain't on the same thing you own, then what we talking about? You know what I'm saying? You still, you know what I'm saying? You you can still be friends with someone that's not the same thing you own, but only if they understand what you're trying to do with yourself. 
Only if they accept it. If they're not accepting it, and they're trying to get you to go against the grain of semen retention, you destined to fail. And you fall for that, you destined to fail. Big time. You got to cut people off. Especially y'all guys that that's afraid to be alone. Oh, y'all the main ones that's afraid to be alone. And you a man. How you afraid to be alone? You need you need to be on semen retention. And start getting these toxic relationships with these toxic females. That you keep getting, getting into a relationship with. Because they definitely draining you. Definitely. Not financially, but spiritually and mentally. Y'all got to learn how to cut people off. You got to make that sacrifice. That, if that's what it takes, then that's what it takes to get to, get to the next degree. I mean, you want to be on top of that hard hierarchy, don't you? You want to get at the top of that hierarchy. You don't want to stay on the bottom. You got to keep climbing, man. Let's go. You got to keep climbing. Don't turn back now. You got to cut whoever you got to cut off. You know what I'm saying? You can't be afraid to cut nobody off on this journey. It's going to come with plenty of sacrifices. This journey is going to come with plenty of sacrifices. Trust me. And a lot of discipline. Because I know a lot of y'all friends are the ones that's just got y'all still trapped and relapsing. You got to cut them off, man. You got to leave them alone. I hope I helped y'all out with this video. Like I always try to do. It's Coleman.